Hi, I'm Coco. And I'm Breezy. And we are celebrity eyewear and accessory designers. We're originally from um, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, being in Minnesota, we grew up in the suburbs. Being different was definitely not accepted. Everybody was more of a jeans and t-shirt, Abercrombie, where we always stepped out the box and would cut and sew. And, and customize all, all of our clothes. And even in high school, like we, we were called the weird twins. We really didn't have any friends. And we actually used glasses to cover up our eyes because to avoid eye contact from everybody always calling us names. We went home crying because people thought we were so weird. They asked why we dressed like this. But I think that we, we didn't care as much just because we always had each other. And like we never were separated. We had all classes together. We worked together, all of our regular jobs, we worked together. So we were together 24-7 and never really been away from each other for a full 24 hours. So now we're always known for the twins with the red lipstick and they always have our shades on. You will never see my eyes unless you take a sneak peek and really catch me without my shades. Growing up, we've always loved fashion. What made us love fashion was ever since we were younger, we used to flip through all the magazines and it was fashion that we never really seen in real life in Minnesota, but going through the magazines, we always said, we want to dress like this, we want to be different. And so we did it. And the whole designing, being creative, and we used to take my mom's sheets and make them into dresses. And also we used to make clothes for our pets and for our Barbies, like customized clothes for them. And try to make clothes for our friends and for ourselves. And so like using our creativity is really, it's really that drawn us into fashion. So Ashanti was our first celebrity that ever wore our glasses. It was crazy because the second day that we got to New York, I was like, I'm on my grind, I'm gonna contact everybody that I met from when I came out here for vacation two weeks before I got here. And someone's like, Ashanti wants to wear your glasses. The next day after the VH1 Hip Hop Honors, when we seen we got so, so much press. press. We were just full, we were filled with excitement. We know how to act because we, we just got to New York. All American Dream, quit our jobs, sold our car, came out here with little money. We didn't even save any money up. No. Stay with our friend. And then to be here for only a week, not even like having a place to stay, and a celebrity wearing our glasses, and being all over the different blogs and magazines and press, it felt it was the best feeling of our life. We felt it was like it was a relief. It was a relief to our parents because you know we were out here 19 years old by ourselves, so it relieved them because it showed them that you know we are actually out here working. So now you can see celebrities like Kelly Osbourne. Um, Nicki Minaj, she's always wearing them. She's in like Honey Magazine, all over press with them. Fader. Fader. And it's crazy because like, we've been seeing celebrities like Kelly Rowland and Michelle Williams where we didn't even give them our shades. People would send us photos like, oh look, you see such and such wearing your shades. And our favorite music artist that we love was Sierra. Um, growing up, we loved Sierra. So to see her actually, someone sent me a video of her performing Rocking Our Shades. It was the show, the show that we were supposed to go to to go watch her. She was wearing my shades. So imagine if we went, I would probably have cried. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a groupie, but I don't get excited. But if I would have seen Sierra wearing my shades on stage with me not even knowing, I would have definitely cried of excitement. All of our eyewear is handcrafted by us. We have numerous styles that we carry on our website, which is www.cocoandbreezy.com. Customers will come up to our website and they'll pick any style that they want. We use a lot of studs, a lot of spikes, a lot of different metals, and different styles that they can pick from. We also have different accessories as far as necklaces, bracelets, and rings, which is very industrial. Um, sometimes a client or a customer will contact us and say that they want a custom style. If a customer hits us up with a style that's their idea, we'll never duplicate or reuse their style. It will be custom handmade just for them. So it's really cool, like we go out and about in public and we see someone wearing our shades or our product, it makes us happy inside to know like we made that. We get inspired by being very, very futuristic, living in our own world. We really love different meadows, sculptures, art. We feel like all of our pieces are very, are very artistic, that our eyewear and our accessories are the outfit, and the outfit is the accessory. And so, putting different industrial things together. Our mind, we think so different. We, in our mind, we live in like Coco and Breezy world, Planet C&B in year 2020. And so what other people think, we think, what, if we look at something, we look at it way different than a regular human being would look at it. We're generally not inspired by people. We're inspired by art. 
Um, the reason why like, we don't, we try not to base ourselves on what other designers are doing is because people do say they're inspired by designers and they'll look at something and while they're designing their own pieces, they don't intentionally copy or mock, but that can happen because it's already set in stone in their head. So that's why we like to look at art as a form of fashion because art does come in, you know, paintings, fashion, shoes, jewelry. So we like to just get inspired by everything that involves with art. And be very, very innovative. This is how our day starts off. We well, usually our night. Our night, actually. Yes. Well, early morning, okay. we stay up to about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. We're usually designing, coming up with new products, different ideas, working on orders. Then we, we actually don't stay, we sleep. We take naps. So we take like different like two-hour naps. So maybe we'll take like a two-hour nap. We'll wake up around 7.30, 8 o'clock-ish. We'll, we just start running, so we'll go like on a little 30-minute run, get some breakfast, and then we'll go home. Usually, I take care of all the emails. And Coco starts on all of the glasses orders. All of our glasses orders. We usually don't get done with that until around like 12, 1 o'clock. Yes. And then after that, we will um, we'll run to the post office. We usually have an intern that will go to the post office. But right now, it's just us two. Um, so one of us will go to the post office. And yes, I do go on the train looking like this. I'll hop on the train, keep it real, and go to the post office. And it's crazy because when we're on the train, we really get stairs like people are wondering like no walk around that? Brooklyn people look at us like we're crazy we get people with different yells out the cars and all that so then after that we'll go to the city we'll probably have some meetings or interview with like a blog or a magazine and then um, go grab a bite to eat with somebody then we'll go back home work on around you know seven or eight and work on um, the orders that we got for that day and it's cool because like there's shades that I don't know how to make and Breezy knows how to make. And there's shades that I don't know how to make that Coco knows how to make. Five years from now, we see ourselves definitely um, a more bigger brand company. It will be a household name. We eventually do want to get into clothing and shoe design. Um, we actually started off with designing clothing. We used to always sew back then. So we definitely want to be a household name. And um, I definitely see myself doing a collaboration with a bigger designer, such as like, we love Marc Jacobs. Um, McQueen is definitely a legend. He's definitely an inspiration because he really showed the future of fashion and how you can really step out the box with fashion design. So if I had advice for us, Coco and Breezy, for 10 years ago, when I was younger, I would have told myself like, why do you care what people like thought of you? Because we used to really just like- We used to really know, care and let things get to us. Yes. Like, we never changed ourselves what people thought, but we should just go home, cry, ask why do they think we're weird. And so, like, we would have told ourselves not to care. Exactly. I think they probably would have made us stronger. Yes, and to have a lot more confidence. So, I would have told, well, anything else I would have told myself was just to be happy and just don't be afraid to express yourself with fashion. Because before we used to always, um, you know, we would have to keep it a little bit low key in middle school since we went to a suburban school. And now, everybody was in polos and Abercrombie, and we were in cut up, bright colors. Yes. We so don't now, care anymore. I'm happy for the people. I, I guess everything, whatever happened 10 years ago, wouldn't have made us the people that we are now. So I don't ever look back on anything that did happen. Hey, I'm Coco. And I'm Breezy. And we're leaders, leaders of the new school. school. I'm living in that 21st century, doing something mean to it. Do it better than anybody you ever seen do it. Screams from the haters, got a nice ring to it. I guess every superhero need his theme.